Hi y'all, welcome back to Beating Crazy Custom Creations. I'm Miss Francis. this is Miss Jeannie. And we're doing a second video. Now here's what I got for you now. And I haven't colored all of them yet, I've just colored one. What do you got? I've got a little rose that Miss Roseanne from Roseanne's Crafting Corner sent me. Then I had the hummingbird and the flowers, which Miss Roseanne sent to me. And then this one I bought, oh, I bought this a long time ago. I just never have done it. So I figured I'd throw it in there and do it too. I don't have them all colored yet. I only got the rose colored. I haven't decided what I want to I want my hummingbird to be in different colors. Just not sure. And I was using these Art Done 16 Jars Chrome Nail Polish. That's what I was using to color. That's what I used to color the rose. That's what I was going to use to color the rest of this. Um, there's no colors on them. They just got numbers. All I got is numbers. And I didn't get a chart in there that gave me any. And I can't get the lid back on that one right. No chart in there that gave me any kind of numbers either. But you get 16 colors. You get like an iridescent and a holographic and... I believe that one's the holographic right there. And, and I wanted that. And then you get the kind of Aurora-like iridescent color. I'm definitely going to use the, I definitely want the blue out. use some of that on the flowers I don't know I'm just gonna I'm just gonna dump them out here I'll have to write down what numbers I use where cuz like I said there's no colors on there so I'm just gonna dump all the colors out and I'll figure out what colors I'm gonna use and just write the numbers down and that way when you purchase the set, you'll see what I mean, because there isn't, there isn't any thing on there, okay, I'm going to go ahead and put these in my curing machine so I can get this video up and going, even though I got another, another one previous to this, I kind of want to get at least two out before my live. So I'm going to try and get this one done now and get it put in my machine and then I can come back down and unmold it later. This kind of reminds me of the intense uh, powders from Let's Resin. But I had seen Tracy at Mini Scenes GB use these nail powders. And I liked it, so I went and I bought me some. Because I liked the way it looked. I liked the chrome color of it. So, I, I don't know. I'm just going to, I'm just going to shut up and color. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to, I don't know the, I've never figured out fast forward yet, so... I'm just going to shut up and color my stuff here. Just gonna color them. I don't really. 
know what color I really, I want more than one color on the hummingbird. And I'm going to make his eye color too. Probably should be black, but I don't know where my black is right now, so. He's just going to get a rose gold eye. <clears throat> Need to write that on my fuzz resin chrome markers as one of the things that I used. I need to get this up around the top of his head somehow. I don't... These don't... I really wanted kind of a teal color too, but... This one doesn't have teal in it. There's no kind of teal in this set. little pain down there today. She's being a pain. Normally, she, I come down here and she's in her chair and she's good with being in her chair. But today, she doesn't want to be in her chair. She wants to hunt the floor and see what she can find on the floor, which probably just be little pieces of epoxy on the floor. And I don't want her trying to eat it. Because she thinks anything that's on the floor is fair game. You better go lay down, girl, or you're going to go back upstairs. For sure. That's part of it. That's part of it. That's part of his thing there. I want some teal. I want some teal color. I do. Some teal color. Yeah, I do. And maybe some, I don't know if one of those might turn out to be pretty magenta. Magenta, but there is no teal in there whatsoever. Mm. So... This might come close to being magenta. Looks like purple. Yeah, but that's purple. So. Oh, that's not purple? Oh, that's mm. more of a... I'm going to need an alcohol wipe, please. That's more of a... It looks purple, but it's more of a magenta color. Thank you. Mm-hmm. It's more of a magenta color. I watched Miss Coral do hers, and she did hers in multicolors, and I thought it was turned out beautiful. So I kind of want to do this one. I, I honestly didn't had forgotten that I got this one. So I actually have it coming again because I had forgotten that I had it. I'd forgotten that Miss Roseanne got it for me. I knew she got me flowers. I knew she got me the rose. I just didn't remember that she had got me the hummingbird off my wish list. Barking little, barking little suckers. Probably ain't nobody out there either. Probably not. Well, there's one way we can check without having to 
you get in that um, Lux resin tote over there in the chameleon colors and get me a TOL. Okay. I was going to do his wings in a different color, but I kind of want the teal. All graphics powder. Chameleon powders. Yeah. Metallic powder. Chameleon powder. Just trying to make sure I darken him a little better, a little more. Darken him with a little more blue. And I'm kind of going to do his wings in a different color. Whoa, almost spilt that one. And sometimes I can get these lids back on these right. I can see what color I got as far as a. Uh, As far as his beak. Probably that color. That's pretty close. There's that color there. One of those two colors will work. Thank you. You're welcome. Check and make sure it's teal. It's teal. All right. Got work to do with these appliques, though. That's the way I want it to. Use a brush on that one because it doesn't want to use. It doesn't want you to use that. I don't want that fluffy of a brush. I don't I need a smaller brush. That one's too not stiff enough. One of those. Should have a white angled one somewhere. Yeah, let me bring it over to you. I should have a white handled one somewhere unless I took it somewhere and don't know where I put it. That one might work better. It's not as full as the other one. The other one was too fluffy. back because I may use it for something else. Okay, I need to can I wipe off his I can put her back upstairs. Put her in the kennel. Take her back up there and put her in the kennel. More pebbles. She you know okay. she don't want to get in her chair. Get up here. And she don't need to be down here. Huh? You don't want to get in your chair, you can go upstairs. And she'll whine the whole time she's in the kennel, but 
looking over it. Well, I mean, you can leave her loose up there, but they probably won't leave her alone. I'll just put her in the center. That way she stays. Well, Karai likes to antagonize her yeah. when she's up there. I'll put her in the kennel. Okay, let's try this again on this. Try and get in here and get his beak colored. I'm folding it back so I can see what I'm coloring here. the spot here on the on the bird hair. I don't know if it's blue or yeah there's still blue in there. Okay. That's what I got so far. I did probably pull his beak out just a little too far but I mean, kind of hard to tell. Looked like it was part of his beak. And hummingbirds have long beaks, so. I'm going to leave it. Okay, colors for flowers. And I know the grass is going to be the green color I got. I really have a hard time getting the dots back on these. Alright. Oops. Yeah, I think I did miss a I think I did miss a wing here. Yep. I sure did. Here's Shredder romping around up there. He thinks Genie's up there to play with him. Okay, that one's done. Let's do the green grass, uh, the green leaves, and the chrome green. Well, the thing is, they don't, they don't, uh, they may give you 16 colors, but they don't give you a lot of color. So. The package came. What package? From Alan. Oh. Okay. I'm expecting uh, actually two or three packages from the orange place, orange <laughs> and white place. Yeah. Most of them are iron ons, iron on transfers that Miss G and I said we couldn't. That was us and we needed that iron on transfer, so. We got it coming. Mm -hmm. We do, for sure. We definitely got them coming. 
You ordered two of each, didn't you? Yeah, or most yeah. of them. But except for some of them that wouldn't let me order two of each. Really? Yeah, because they didn't have two of each oh. in stock. So, I'm probably have to go back and find those and order another one if, once they're back in stock. Because... I guess I could have ordered it and then let them waited till they were in stock again, but I didn't, so I just figured I'd go back on there. You know I'm going to end up going back on there anyway. So. <laughs> and I hate it when they're supposed to be delivered by the mailman. Because my mailman isn't worth a crap. I don't get mail every day. Used to. Don't anymore. Ever since they've been short-handed. And haven't hired anybody. Or haven't hired anybody that wants to work. Yeah. I don't, I don't get mine. Like I used to. Evergreen, not yet. I got my L and my skull come in, but I have not. I got to sit down and I will take my time with that one and color it. I'm sure I won't get it colored as well as Mr. Butch did from Butch's Resin Corner, but yeah, I do I do like to take my time when I'm coloring my stuff. So I'm having a hard time trying to get it in the tips and around the outside edges of this of the flower. The leaves here. It doesn't seem to want to stick very well. I mean, because I thought it'd been real chromey as much as I put on there. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's hmm. not like it should be. I guess it's just the mold. It's just the mold. I will mix up some, probably some black, and go ahead and pour these in the black and put them in the curing machine. That's what I got so far. Get my flowers colored and then that one's done and I got the other one to color. And I may not color it on screen. I may just color it and surprise you with it. Okay. I don't see it going. I do like But I need some color to go in the center of the flowers. <clears throat> I kind of wanted that, but I don't seem to want to color it very dark. Could have done a bronze, I guess. Be 
and it does in a few minutes and then I'll be on to the next one. I may want some more of my other, I don't know, chameleon powders, maybe. I don't know. Okay. We'll see. Things dry out pretty quick if you leave them out. Thank God for that. I need to find me another one of those pumps because I done broke one of them. So I want to make sure I had one for down here. I like to have one. I like those pumps where you just pump the alcohol up, man. I can't. You can't buy them at the dollar store. I, I forgot that you couldn't buy them there. I got them. Where did I get them? Amazon, I believe. And one of them's already broke, so. Let's see. What colors do I want them? I think one purple and one that pale pink or one that Aurora color. Because mm. I like that color there. What are these? What's your blood sugar? 171 and holding. I didn't mean to flip it over in that other flower. I did though. I have to wipe it. Purple. I have to wipe it out. I'm picky about my coloring. <laughs> <laughs> I am picky about it. That's yes, why it takes are. it takes me too takes me long to color because I'm picky about what how it turns out. And what color I use and how I think it's going to look. So I'm just too picky. So I wasn't going to, I wasn't going to make that flower the same color. So I'll wipe it out. her up there. Trying to throw it. Mm -hmm. Julia, I have to get over it till I get these poured and get them in the curing machine. Then we'll go upstairs until after it's... She got king in the kennel with her. Does she? Yeah. yeah. I don't know why he goes in there. <laughs> I don't either. But, hey. I told Pebble she had to go in the kennel and he was right there first. color, kind of, but I don't know, but we'll see. I see I missed some spots, darn it.
have been making that noise. <laughs> Can you tell? Sounds like her. Because she will, she knows we're home, so she's going to cry because she knows we're down here. Yeah. <clears throat> Thinking about making these, turning these in, turning this into a top of a wind chime. Because I probably got plenty of wind chime tubes out there that I could snag from some broken wind chimes I got out there. <laughs> Pretty sure I could, <laughs> could make it something. I could, I could create a wind chime there. Okay, I really, I don't, I don't really know what kind of flowers these are. I just remember Miss Wanda doing them, and I kind of liked them, and I don't know whether I want to do the, the bark of them in a brown. Because flowers is usually green, but I think the one she, I seen her do a long time ago was in a brown color. So I think I may do the bark in that and make the flowers nice and Yep, she's up there crying. Yep. She crying. She sound like a little cat meowing. <laughs> like a little cat crying. Yeah. She does. Yeah. If you really listen. Yep, she does. She sounds like a little cat crying. A little crazy girl. I hate making her be upstairs, but I don't want her down here trying to eat stuff off the floor. And I also don't want her getting behind me and I go to roll my chair backwards and I roll my chair over. I mean, you know, she obviously did not want to be in her chair. She wanted to be in mine or Jeannie's lap. Well, I can't have her in my lap when I'm doing this. And, you know, Jeannie's usually helping, so I don't, you know, she's got gloves on too and she don't want her in her lap either. So. I gotta be on. I had to hold that up. I got. I think I got my light down dim. And it's hard for me to see what I'm coloring here. That's a little better. doesn't really color well on here. I thought it would color better than it does. And, uh, you know, if anybody else knows of any other way to get in touch with Lutz Resin, please let me know. Because I've already sent them three messages. And I've yet to hear anything from them. getting a little discouraged about that. I mean, I honestly sent them a video from my live because I wanted them to see that I made it, but it did not fit together. Now, I don't care, you know, if they don't want the You know, if they want me to send them all back, I will. If they don't want it back because I used it, okay. Just give me a credit, you know, or send me something.
to take the place of what I spent on the mold. Because I was not very happy with it. I was so thrilled when I got it, thinking, oh, this is going to be cool. Yeah. It didn't turn out to be too cool. And I did see, and part of it's my fault too, I did see that the mold was messed up. But I thought if I let it set out, that it would straighten itself out. Because it was, the lid was kind of squished in the thing. So, I don't know. That looks like that's a piece of the branch too. So, I don't know. I just, I can't seem to get in touch with them. I left a message. I, get, I sent them a message through Facebook. I sent Miss Betsy two messages through um, Instagram. And I've yet to hear from them. <coughs> so... Kind of, kind of want to hear something about it. Would be nice. I mean, you know, you would think that they would want to take care of the problem. And I don't know what I want to use in that, but. I'm going to try a little bit of this because I think it's like an iridescent powder. Kind of hard to see. I'm going to put a little bit in there. Maybe just a small spot. I do have some. I did find that. I finally found that Aurora that I ordered from Intuit Resin. Did you? Yeah, it was laying behind my cup there. <laughs> so. Thinking about maybe using some of it. I don't know. They have them fairy colors too, which I haven't used yet. Yeah. So, I don't know. Might use those. I'm thinking Karai might stay away from Pebbles. Why? Well, I put that pie package on top of the kennel. Oh, well. Yeah. That or she's just going to run around the room barking. Well, I haven't heard her barking yet. Not yet, but you know how she is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She ran around that room barking. If I want to use this color, if I want to use the magenta color, I think I want to use the magenta color. I like it better. Then I'm going to pour them, put them in the curing machine, and we will be back later to um, unmold them. And then I have 
tomorrow's live, which no, tomorrow's Thursday or Friday's live. I might do another one video tomorrow too. I don't know how soon I'll get them up, but I definitely might do another one. Depends on how long it takes me to color that out. <clears throat> I do like this color. Mm -hmm. It's just that I can I can hear her. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I know they can't hear her, but probably, but I can hear her. Throwing her little fit because she's in the kennel and she knows we're here. Well, I mean, if you would have got in your chair, then you wouldn't have had to go upstairs. like that one. Mm -hmm. I think I color them all that color. I don't know. That one kind of has a center whereas the other one didn't have a center. So I might color that one and then figure out something to see it kind of looks like it has a center. Unless it's just my eyesight. Which could very well be. <laughs> you know. Blind in one eye and can't see out of the other. I'm about ready for a shot at something. <laughs> there I am. Are you telling me something? I might be. Uh, I'll wait till I get upstairs. Okay. Because, you know, I'm going to pour these and then I'm going to go upstairs and probably better eat something before I start doing any kind of shots or I won't, yeah. be, I won't be back down later <laughs> for sure. Oh, come on. Crazy dogs. I mean, I know it said that I'd have a package through the post office today, but I never trust the post office. No. Because they're never right. They always tell you it'll be here, but it it'll be here maybe three days later than what they tell you it'll be. Yeah. I was hoping it would be here before Miss Jeannie goes back home, but don't know. I mean, it, it wasn't like I didn't order it in time. I wish they would use FedEx on all their shipments, then you wouldn't have to worry about that. All right, let's try and color. I kind of think the center I don't know. It's kind of right there. That kind of looks like a center. I don't have enough of that color on there. bit of that in there too. Okay. Let's do it on this one first. Okay. 
get a bit more dragons to do. I just was kind of taking a break and trying to do something that I knew I could get done in a fairly short amount of time. And then I don't know, Friday's Alive, me, we may do some more polyurethane pouring. I don't know, we'll see. I don't have any more resin creeped. I've used it all. As far as I know, I don't think I have any more. Jeez, dude. He's barking. Sounds like he's barking out back. What do you mean, outside? No, like oh. he's at the back door barking. Mm, I don't know. I mean, the only one he could see would be the neighbor down behind us. He's the only one that's usually out. Or somebody down there on that cul-de-sac. Yeah. Because they, a lot of times kids are out there riding their little scooters. And, you know, he's not... He's definitely not a mean dog, but when he sees kids outside playing, he wants to go out and play with them. He wants to be outside with them. So, kind of hard to, hard to do, because most little kids are, well, my neighbors used to be scared to death of them. They would never come over to my house, or they'd come over, but they wouldn't come in. Because they were Maris and uh, Romina and Ina were all scared of him. But, you know, I taught him to tell him no when he's trying to, when he's trying to jump on you. So you'll play with him, just tell him no. Plus, I do have my collars on them, my training collars that I leave on them, because, I, you know, my husband didn't believe in those collars, and when my husband's friend, Rusty, and his wife came over one night to visit me shortly after David had passed, he was amazed at how well behaved the dogs were so, well, you know it's a collar <laughs> it's the collar that does it I'm telling you you don't have to you do not have to shock my dogs all you gotta do is vibrate vibrate that collar it scares the crap out of them it scares them so bad that they'll They'll jump like they've been shocked, but they have not. I don't, I don't like to shock them. I would rather vibrate them, give them a tone first, and then vibrate them. And if they don't listen well, then give them a light tap on a shock. But I don't start out just shocking Of course, Master Shredder, uh, I guess I got him fooled. He thinks, oh, I'd like to kind of put maybe a little bit of this. Kind of in streaks in there, but I don't know that it'll work. Probably would if I wipe it with some alcohol, but I'm not going to. I'm just trying to put a little bit of color in them. And they might have a little bit of color anyway, really. What color is in them? Uh, I put that iridescent color in there. Mm. So... I mean, they'll, they're going to have some kind of color in them. Yeah. Just won't be 
like the others. But I'm trying to slide some color in there. And it may show up and it may not. Because this is not the first color I laid down, so more than likely it won't show up. But we'll see. All right. All right, I am done with the coloring. Now I will pause you and mix up some epoxy. And I probably could do, I probably could do polyurethane. And not have to wait. Yeah. But I don't, yeah, it still might be okay. I hate putting these back in those silly ass bags. I just stack them in this box. Although some of them I'm pretty sure I don't have the lids on them very good. Just and like I said, you buy this one. I mean, it's got some pretty colors in it and some vibrant chrome colors in it. But you... I mean, there's nothing to tell you what color's what. Just a number on there. That's all that's on it. So, I just try and write down the numbers that I use, or just write down the set, and y'all can purchase the set. Okay. You know, I don't know yet. Do I want to try polyurethane again? I mean, I can mm -hmm. and get it done quicker. All right, guys. I think I'm going to... Normally, I would go with black, but I think I'm going to do some polyurethane in there. Because I can get it done and get my video up quicker. Then if I did it the other way, I don't, I don't really know how much to mix. So we've got extras over there in case I need them. I'm gonna have to buy me some more polyurethane because I keep using it. At least it ain't going to, I still got that other brand in there that I haven't even gotten out. Oh, I thought you were going to say the stinky. No, I got some polyurethane in that other one. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I'm not going to do, well, I'll do six first. I don't know if that'll be enough, but we'll see. I need another cup to mix them in, though. Get me one of those cheap plastic cups. The ones Alan sent you? No. Oh, that's what that is right there. No, I don't want those. I'm already using those. I want one of those cheap ones like that. Because that way I can just throw it away. Okay, these are both bees. It don't matter. Oh, okay. They, they never had any in it. Oh, okay. I marked them and then realized I really couldn't use those. Oh, okay. Because I couldn't. There's no measurements on them. So I never used them for that. All right. I'm just going to mix up six to begin with. They don't look very deep, but if I need more, I'll mix some more up. And then we will be back when they're ready to be done.
knock that sucker right over. I might have to get that other one before I buy any more. Probably your thing. Then maybe I better get that other brand out and just use it up. Um, someone told me it doesn't stink, so I might have to just try it and use it. getting mixed or not. I wish I'd try and mix it till it's clear, but because I don't want any sticky stuff. But if it's warm and I don't want to wait. quick. Um, missing my flowers here. <laughs> Getting it everywhere. I'll have to be scraping it off my tray. But I missed it again. Can't see. It's getting warm. Oh, so yes, it is. Here, I need it just a minute. Quick. Oh, yeah, it's getting hot. Make sure my bird's got. Okay, four. Okay, we'll be back when it's ready to unmold. All right, they've cooled. I mean, they're still, that one's still a little warm, but the others have cooled off pretty good, so I'm going to get you down, and we're going to unmold them. Start with this little rose that Miss Roseanne bought me. Yeah, I have to clean it out of my tray, too, where I over poured. There you go. It turned out really pretty. And mm -hmm. I love I love the chrome part of the powder. Of the nail powder. I like the chrome part it comes out. Move my tray back in there so we can see. Let me put these back in the bag. At least this one anyway. And I might want to make it again. All right, um, I'm going to try this one, although I did make a mess there, got it stuck to it, at least it peels up anyway. <coughs> this is pretty thin, so I'm going to have to be careful so I don't break it, trying to get it out of there. This the side a bit, darn it. Mm, better. It came off. 
All right, I like that one too. That one's a little older. I've had this one for a while, and needs a little bit of cleanup. But it's pretty. Yes, it is. I know what I use it for, but I'll find something to use it for. Alright, let's see if I can get this one out of there without waking the bird. I hear this one's a little tedious, a little soft on one spot. It's easy to kind of break. She put, she done hers in epoxy. I done mine in red polyurethane, but doesn't mean it won't break. Just means you got to be a little more careful about taking it out so you don't break it. You can always glue it back, but. There's my hummingbird and my flowers. All right. Those were pretty, pretty quick videos, and they turned out really pretty. I wish I'd have went up a little higher with this color, um, but I didn't, so I will get my pictures taken, get my shout-outs done. I'm not going to even worry about those because we've done those so many times that everybody's seen them. <laughs> okay. Shout outs. My shout outs are Wanda's Blessed Creations. Please keep Miss Wanda in your prayers. She has some more doctor's appointments coming up. Stacy underscore the crafty cat. Please, please keep Stacy in your prayers too. Res C Liz, India Brady Art, Art by Me, Andrew Walker, Billy Holman Creations, Cosmic Carol's Creations, Artsy Doodles, My Love of Crafts, Clear Creations, Butch's Resin Creations. Dragons in Dresses Craftsatorium, Creating with Wingless Angel, TLC's Handmade Haylofts, Roseanne's Crafting Corner. Thank you so much, Roseanne, for the, the hummingbird mold and the rose mold. They turned out beautiful. Um, Coral Marine's Resin Art, Marvelous Artsy, Crafting with Carla. Cynthia's Crafts and More, Amy's Resin Corner, Kat Johnson, The Blue Elephant Gifts, uh, Resin Me Up, I'm, I'm trying to remember this, Ruby's, Ruby's Resin Corner, um, Sam I Am, let's see, who else? The Blue Elephant Gifts. Um, Martha Townsend. I don't think... I'm trying to think if there's anybody else. I don't think there's anybody else on my list. But, like I said, it grows all the time as I find new channels to watch. Um, I can't think of any. Uh, custom Created... Handmade crafts. I think that's everybody. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Um, and we'll see you on the next video. I'm going to try to make another one tomorrow. And then I got my live on Friday at 6 p.m. So I hope to see you there. And see you on the next video. Bye for now.